Greetings viewers, Adventure Link here. Back again with another video that's sure to be a nice change of pace from all those review videos from last month. <laughs> if it's your birthday, it was your birthday, or it's going to be your birthday soon, congratulations, happy birthday. Get out there and make it a good one. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make pickles. And gals too, of course. Now the thing is with pickles, is that there's actually two kinds of pickles. The pickles themselves, like those that come out of the jar, is actually cucumbers. But there's a process called pickling, which is what we're going to do today. And of course, you know, you don't necessarily have to use cucumbers. Because like I said, the actual pickles are cucumbers, but that don't mean that's just cucumbers. You can use like carrots, jalapeno peppers, whatever. Go wild, go crazy. Use your imagination. Of course, keep in mind, this is a bare minimum list on how to make pickles. Of course, you'll obviously need your cucumbers, but like I said, you can use other vegetables like carrots, beets, jalapeno peppers, whatever. Table salt, or you can use sea salt or kosher salt. Dill seeds, chopped garlic. Although I've heard of people using chopped garlic cloves or garlic salt, but in my opinion, I guess as long as it's garlic, that's fine and it'll work. You can use any kind of vinegar. I've got distilled white vinegar. For what it's worth, see, there it is on this uh, old jar of plastic pickles. Distilled vinegar, which is what we're going to use today. Although you can use like wine vinegar. Of course, you can also play with other spices too, like mustard seeds, white pepper, red pepper, whatever tickles your fancy. Again, go wild, go crazy. Of course, the first thing you want to do is take your jar and wash it out. Fill it up halfway. Set it down. Get your lid. Put the lid on. Shake it up a few times. Undo the lid. Dump it in the sink. And the next thing you want to do is you want to get your distilled white vinegar ready. You want to pour in a cup of white vinegar. Then pour it into your saucepan. That's pretty much all you need is just a saucepan for this. Then you're going to need a cup of water. Again, pour it into the same saucepan here. As you can see, this is the saucepan after you add one cup of vinegar, one cup of water. Of course, you can make a more brine solution. Just make equal amounts of vinegar and water. Like for every one cup of vinegar you add, add in one cup of water. Next thing you want to do is you want to add in your teaspoon of salt. You might be able to add in another half a teaspoon if you want to. Of course, for us heart patients, you know, feel free to play around with the salt values because as you know, cutting out salt or even reducing it is always a good thing. Then you can make your spoon useful and stir up the salt, vinegar, and water. If nothing else, you can at least pre-clean the, the salt spoon you use and then wash it off in the sink later. And the next thing you want to do is you want to put your brine solution on a low flame. And just keep, let it keep going until it gets to a full run and boil. I always use a low flame because it'll take longer to make, but your pans will last longer. And it'll allow you to buy time for the next step, which is preparing your vegetables. Oh yeah, we also need to prepare the jar too. You can't forget that. Nope. Jar preparation. First thing you want to do is you want to take your dill seeds, open them up. Then pour, pour enough dill seeds in here, cover the bottom of the jar. Just like so. Next thing you want to do, you want to take your garlic whatever. Same deal. Dump it in the thing. Like I said, if you have any other spices or seeds you want to use, go ahead and add them in the jar now. But this is the bare minimum here to make dill pickles. Vegetable preparation. First thing you want to do is you want to inspect your vegetables. Make sure that they don't have any bad spots, mold. Or if you have any like pre-cut vegetables that you cut previously, Make sure it doesn't have any brown, mold, other color tintings, whatever. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to wash off your vegetable. And put it back on your bowl, on your plate just like so. And in the case of preparing cucumbers, you want to cut off the extreme ends. Like over here. Over here. And then somewhere in the middle. Yeah, supposedly these extreme ends of these pickles 
have enzymes in them that can lead to lip pickles. But I want to call bull crap on that because, you know, the pickle companies always made those big gigantic jars of full-size cucumber pickles. They've done it for years. And I'm sure you've seen them at big, the deli sections at like Kroger's or little convenience stores or pony cakes where they have those big gigantic snack size pickles which are full-size pickles with the ends. Now, as for cucumber preparation, the most common cuts you see at stores besides whole are like the sandwich chips, which is pretty much that, only a little thicker. Additionally, in this jar, you had the stackers, which are like the chips, only you cut them on the sides. See, so you cut them on the sides. And then, of course, you know, you got your dill spears where you cut them like this all the way down, then cut them like this. That makes quarters. Then you make your quarters into eighths, like that. Now with your cucumber cut up, next thing you wanna do is you wanna stuff up your pickle jar here. The idea is to stuff it up as tight as possible. Just all you gotta do is lock and load all your pickle slices and pack them in as tight as you can. That's why one cucumber doesn't cut it, that's why I've got another one ready to go. One and a half cucumbers later, I'd have to say, yup, that's a packing. Packed in pretty tight, all right. Now we just wait for the brine to come to a full run and boil so we can pour it in here. Now with our brine at a full run and boil, turn off the flame and bring it over to our pickle jar and carefully pour it in the pickle jar. Yeah, try not to inhale it too much, it'll make it cough. Just so you know, you want the solution to come up like just above the pickles here. There, that's good. You may not use all your brine, that's fine. But from here, you'll seal the jar back up as tight as you can. Then let it cool down to room temperature. And of course, dump any leftover brine out and dump it in the sink and cool your pan down. From here, you'll let the jar cool down to room temperature. After the jar cools down to room temperature, you'll put it in the refrigerator for a couple days. And after that, pick out your pickles and enjoy. In the meantime, clean up your area. And that's it. You've just made your own pickles. Yay! So let's go wrap this video up. The process of pickling. Well, what can I say about it? It's actually pretty fun and pretty cool. You can make your own pickled anything, and because you are in control of all the ingredients, especially the salt, you could probably even make it healthier than what it is in the store. And who knows? Maybe if you could find like hot pepper seeds, or use like white pepper, black pepper, ground up, or whatever, then you can make your own hot pickles. And for all those hard patients out there that miss their big fat hot pickles at the grocery store, in the deli section, or at the pony kegs or whatever, ha! In your face, 1,000 milligrams of sodium pickles that are hot. That shouldn't be touched because they're 1,000 milligrams of sodium. In your face. I had fun making my own pickles, hopefully. They'll turn out pretty good. I made a batch once before, and it didn't turn out too bad. Hopefully this batch will also turn out the same way as well. Pretty much all I got to say on it, you know, just makes it things like pickles. You can make your own pickles, your own pickled jalapeno peppers. I hear it'll make them hotter. I'm going to close this video off. I'm Adventure Link. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you got some from this video. Hopefully you try to, ma try to make your own pickled things. Let me know how it goes. If you got some entertainment value, then hey, that's cool too. If it helped pass your time, sweet. I'm a, I'm down for that. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. It's in the video description. Remember, your rates help YouTube and I determine how good of a job I am and help manipulate the search results as a result. The subscriptions will allow you to see any new videos that I make on YouTube, especially when you hit that little bell button. Then you get to see them when they're fresh off the presses. Please hit that button. That way you can see all my videos. I appreciate it. Appreciate you all watching my videos, too. And leaving the comments, I like talking to my fans. Questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticisms, well wishes, prayers, etc. But no flames, fighting, spam baiting, blood hurt comments, etc. Please take them down to the comments section. It's starting to get warm outside, so stay cool, stay in the shade. Wear your light color clothing, loose fitting, lightweight. Wear your sunscreen. Eat right, stay active, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Don't let others push you around. 
Remember to always slow down for the inclement weather, please. And this has been Adventure Link. Going to close off this video by quoting the wise words of wisdom from Eric the Car Guy. Be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. We'll see you next time.